Okay, so I'm going to show you how to set another up to play with a controller. Now, why do you want to play with a controller? Well, this is... Blah, blah, blah. But holding down the W key for hours, just walking around another isn't very fun. And it kind of hurts your fingers after a while. Holding a controller, especially one that's comfortable, like this Xbox One Spectra or Power A extra Xbox One Spectra Lumina controller I put grippets on is very comfortable. Now here. Move forward. Up. There. Wait. We're just gonna reset the defaults. Reset. Move forward. Up on the D pad will show up as an up arrow. Cause um the game recognizes the controller as like a keyboard. Which is weird. Straight left. Backward. Straight right. Jump. A. Or yeah, you can use Y. Use Y. Crouch. B. Crawl. That, uh. Where have it be? The right thumbstick. Reload. X. Toggle inventory. Should be start. Map should be select, even though it shows up as multiple and add for some reason. Flashlight. Up. Sprint. There we go. Taunt. G. Score. Tab. I don't know. Is there more controls? Okay. Apply. Now. Oh, audio. Here we are. So, let's see if everything works. Can't show you the dodge. I have the graphics on medium with some of the stuff turned off. But, yeah, slice, slicing with the knife works. Start and select buttons do not work. Either does the joysticks. A works. Controller is very... It's, it's weird this game doesn't have correct controller support because that sensitivity is like you can really aim. Much better than Fallen in Vegas I, I've been playing. Like in terrible controllers. It's like, it's a console game. Whoa, something's over there. Like, I can't bring up the map with start and select, like I said it to. I press the mail button. And there's some guy, so that's it.